Give a quick eye blink glance at figure 2.1 and probably the picture element that will stand out is not all of the persons standing and sitting for the camera, not even Adolf Hitler himself with his logo-like short mustache, but the logo of the Nazi party on the flag in the background. A logo should be quickly memorized visual message that stands for a complex entity a company, organization, concept, and in some cases, even a person. Think of the real estate tycoon Donald Trump and his comb over as a logo. Now think of Nike, CBS, McDonald's, the Olympics. Chances are the images that come to your mind are each one's logo, a swoosh, an I, a yellow M, and colored rings. Graphic designers often want a logo on a page or screen to be conspicuous, but in other cases, as in figures 2 and 3 in this chapter, they are happy to have the words and pictures blend together in a cohesive whole. Still, one wonders how the history of the world might be changed if those brown shirts in Germany had decided not to use a swastika and instead opted for a smiley face logo.